Hello friends, welcome to this operating system class and in this class we will see uh, the file system that is the second part of fourth unit, okay, the file system and now we will see the introduction to the file system. Uh, the file system, file system consists of two parts, first one is file and second one is directory structure, okay, when come to file, it is a named collection of related information that is stored on secondary storage, that is all the related information will be connected under a common name under a common name and this is called as file and this file will be stored in secondary storage devices right not in the main memory right when come to directory structure which is used to, to organize and it will provide information about all the files which are stored in the system okay that is the secondary storage device that means the purpose of directory is to organize and maintain the information about all the files right and when come to file system file system lives on devices that is secondary storage devices for example magnetic disk magnetic tape optical disk and etc okay hard disk hard disk is also a secondary storage device only file concept right computers can store information on various storage media such as magnetic disk magnetic tape and optical disk here the information here is nothing but the files right here the operating system which provides uniform logical view of stored information okay that is called as file and the files are then mapped by the OS into physical devices which are the physical device we are having all the secondary storage devices which contains files right and the storage devices are usually non-volatile storage devices and next let us see some types of files the files represent programs as well as data okay some files are called as program files and some files called as data files when come to data file it may be numeric alphabetic alphanumeric or binary data may be there okay the data may be in various types the file is a sequence of bits bytes lines or records as well as the data about the file okay that is metadata right and its creator and user okay these are the content and attributes of this file okay file is a sequence of bits bytes lines and records and it also contains the metadata that is the attributes of files right and here we are having some uh, different types of files first one is text file text file is nothing but sequence of characters that is alphabets numeric alphanumeric characters uh, that those are organized into lines and pages the collection of lines will form a pages and collection of pages will form a file right so this is called as text file and the next type is source file the source file is a program file program file in C language we have write some uh, program files the extension is C in C++ the extension is CPP Java means the extension is Java okay so these are all source files which contain sequence of functions each of function contains the executable statements isn't it because this is a program file and the next one is executable files executable files is a series of code sections that the loader can bring into memory and execution okay so if you open this that is if you double click this executable file then it will start executes right so the general category of files are the text file source file and executable files in the file concept uh, four things are important the first one is file attribute that is used to identify the file and second one is operations that is file operations the operations will be performed on the file and the third one is file types that is different types of files and the last one is file structure all these things we will see in the next class 
and up to this we have seen simply the introduction to the file system in the next class we will see what is file and the different attributes of this file okay thank you